hi welcome to ether authority in this video i'll be talking about how you can list your token in pancakeswap go to the website pancakeswap.finance make sure you are on the right domain as they say uh, make sure that we are not any any phishing site so make sure the url is correct so this guide will be very easy very quick so let's get started so as you can see in here first go to the trade and then liquidity because uh, assuming that we uh, we don't this is the very new token right and it does not have any liquidity or it is not already listed on PancakeSwap so it's very fresh smart contract you also have to make sure that you are logged into your MetaMask account and they have some BNB to pay for the gas transaction fees all right so just take the contract address of your token this is the test uh, token contract and here click on add liquidity because the first time you have to add your own liquidity to get it listed on PancakeSwap so you can make here the pair you can list it with USDT and your coin or you can list with uh, BNB so whichever works okay so for this purpose i'll just use this one opb you are the first liquidity provider okay so we have to set the ratio of the price and it's all good all right so we have to first set the price here so let's say we we take 50 percent from here and let's say i have balance 90 so let's say i want to put the price one one token equals to 100 so we have to basically adjust the price accordingly here so we have to put like 0 0.0001 0 if we do like this then one let me set this like this okay because I have balance only 94 so but you get the point you have to set the ratio so how many BNB will give how many of B O P B right so that you have to set here let's say let me do it here 10 but let's increase this ratio over here 0, 0.0 okay something like this okay let's do something like this so 0 0.001 bnb will give me 10 opb which will be equivalent to 1000 opb per bnb or the opb's price will be 0 0.001 bnb so you have to basically set the price you can adjust here you have to provide the liquidity for both coins so you need to have both of the token in your wallet so let's say if you are instead of bnb you are using usdt right then you have to have a usdt in here as well okay okay all right let's see the usdt thing okay something like this so one usdt equals to 100 coin tokens so i have to set the ratio like this and here you will see 100 OPB per USDT and 0.01 USDT per, per, per OPB. So this is how you set the ratio. Once you are here, insufficient. Okay, I have it. All right, do like this. Just for testing purpose, okay? So first we have to enable USDT and then you enable OPB and then supply. So th you have to make three transactions. First do this transition, then do this transition and then this let me tell you this if the if these are the token then you will have three transactions but if you let's say want to do with bnb then you don't have that much of transactions zero point zero zero. let's say we set this versus this and price will be ten thousand opb per bnb okay so only thing in that case we have to just enable this and then supply so i'll do just test transaction you get the idea that you just have to do the transaction here just click on confirm just take like a couple of seconds to confirm the transaction and once 
it is done then it will ask you to supply so once we have to do then it will supply this liquidity and your token will be added so you can just click this okay you just have to click confirm once you click i don't want to do it so i just reject it but if you click the confirm it will take like six dollar or depending on the uh, concession and all but it will be less than ten dollar to create the, this pair and once this is done then it will be done uh, then you can go to the trade and in here you can select bnb versus this coin so this coin is this uh, by the way it is not listed it's very new so you have to add here via their smart contract address so click on that and one after this not now because at the moment there is no liquid so here's insufficient bnb balance or whatever okay even if i do like this they will say um well. okay so i i think someone might have added this but whatever otherwise it might tell that this there is no insufficient liquidity but it seems there is a liquidity someone might have added so whoever adds the liquidity anybody can add the liquidity that's not a problem but once in your case if it is very new you add your liquidity and then you can come here on trade and swap here then select your coins and then you can set you can do your transactions here now let me tell you this the price will be determined based on buying and selling so if more people are buying your coins the price will go up and the more people are selling your coins the price will go down it also depends on the liquidity provided so if there are lots of liquidity provided then the price fluctuation will not be that much but if there is liquidity is low then the price fluctuation will be too much so that being said this is how you you can list your token in PancakeSwap and then you can do the trade and your users can do the trades. Thanks for watching. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Goodbye.